Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much to Tree, and uh, I'm excited to be reading Cameron and uh, Jillian. I hope that was good. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to read, I think, one poem from the chapbook that I brought to sell, because I brought it to sell. It's five dollars. <laughs> So, and then I'll read some new stuff, so. Um. Balance. When a human is in free fall, the sensation of falling is constant. Not a fool left to count dimes scattered on formica tables. Eyes detect rapid apparent motion, laws of omission, migratory patterns or passions. How many days, how many, how many, how many, elliptic paths, skyscrape, we surrender nothing. Insufficient safety equipment will not prevent flail injury, capable of escape velocity, this bit writ entirely in cumulus, go full throttle, punch a star. Um, anyway, so, so that uh, <laughs> chat book. I did this manuscript last year that had to do with bad communication and, and uh, ghosts and all kinds of stuff. And uh, anyways, uh, the cartwheel stuff that uh, Rod referred to was uh, a lot of it is stuff that I've cannibalized off other writing. So um, with the uh, manuscript on communication, I took a lot of things where. Um, I had like a hundred pages of notes or something ridiculous after I was done with the manuscript and then I alphabetized them and then I messed around with them a lot, so. <laughs> um, so I guess what I'll read first from that, I'll read the cartwheel eight. And I'm fond of the emphatic in case you didn't get that yet. <laughs> cartwheel eight. I always remember to clean up. I am a curved piece of glass. I am a most pleasant dream. I am a price. I am a salt shaker. I am a torn playing card. I am a whirly gig. I am afraid of dying. I am afraid of you. I am all water. I am an anvil. I am an expert in doorways and windows. I am entirely capable. I am just going outside and maybe some time. I am measure beyond measure. I am not delucent. I am willing. I asked for one thing. I asked you over and over. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I carry in both arms. I continue the conversation. I did nothing wrong. I did something wrong. I didn't say that. I don't know. I don't sleep well with others. I fucking dare you. I get to know most things. I go missing. I have lost everything but this. I inspire the most horrible. I know how to read my palm. I let fly trestles. I like the weapon. I love by proxy. I make you sweat. I morph under pressure. I mourn white space. I promise. I pull myself together in pieces. I put my clasped hands into fire. I put my shoes on there. I rub your words between my fingers. <laughs> I say these things like they mean something. Mm -hmm. I say water. I say you are honest. I show you my jaw. I spy through my little eye. I talk to emulsions. I turn my head away. I twirl the Rolodex of me. I wanted to know what you wanted. I was carrying it. I was mad at you, uncertain. I was so careful. I was the woman at the well. I waste no time. I wave to you from lake beds. I will not promise to be okay. I wish my life didn't have a soundtrack. I won't say I would do anything to fix this. I would rather die. I write a word to stop a truck. I yearn for nothing. Another cartwheel, and then I'll read a couple more things, and then I think I'm in my time. I have a watch for the first time ever. <laughs> uh, cartwheel 12. C'est bien sûr qu'il y a tant de choses que je ne something here to let on, baby, baby. Mais bien oui, oui. C'est bien sûr a complicated fastenings, drip, drop, drop, like say it was before, then also maybe, possibly, perhaps, c'est bien sûr. Much the same, same bien flood, fever, breath, record high, high, low, humid ex, fat, wrestled, blue bonnet, some bee, sunflower, wreck, wretch, ray, lumen, or else sucker punch. But then maybe same bien not so much resonant, sterile, echo, subtle procrastination of then, then, then. 
but also, say, bien sûr, there's some unsettled cacophony, police surveillance, long time coming, doomsday, flat, dull, unsure, surrender, she, she, shining, and you know the truth of it, say, bien sûr, baby, snake eyes, and you damn well know it. 12.25. The weight blossomed without intention. People no longer said she looked great. They told her she liked, they liked her dress, blouse, necklace, shoes, thighs plushed out and plumbed, thin leaded lines, pale white, her already plushy white thighs mooning, glowing. She slept uneasily on her side because on her back the weight felt like it was suffocating her and she found it hard to breathe. She kept the food inside herself and agonized over its digestion, the crinkly turns through esophagus, throat, stomach, colon, intestine, anus. Everything left a cold, slimy trail on her insides that her body resisted the shift, creaked in the wrong places, sweated. She read books about accepting her body for what it was, empowering books with bright headings and clear, cute little fonts. She tried to believe them. She did not. Her appetite had changed. It craved, demanded full plates. She looked in the mirror and hated it. It was all nothing, and she hated it, and it was still nothing, and she hated 12.75. The street is blurred, and the wine is jet fuel, jet fuel in her, lit up, blood in the fingertips. Everything is warm and jangling, and the stone roses are too loud in headphones, and she doesn't see him as he steps out of Kelly's pub, and she bumps him hard, that pine smell, that pine smell. Without thinking, grabs his shirt, his eyebrows leap, she kisses him hard in the street, and it's raining. I want to be adored, you adore me, I want to be adored. Then, of course, statuettes on scene unfold diorama, both drunk in the alley behind Kelly's, and she thinks it's kind of like that scene from Sid and Nancy next to the garbage bin that thinks she shouldn't be thinking that, so she focuses on the kissing, and his lips, which are warm round luscious, fucking strawberries, really fuck. She bites on them and he pushes her against the brick and then there's more kissing and 12.99, the last tangent. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm just going to read two more things. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> um, so these are things from something else I've been writing. Um, which I'm not really sure why I started writing it, but I just did, so. Proposed applications of engineered bioluminescence. Glowing trees to line highways and reduce government electricity bills. Road rage dissolves perfunctory polytest fingers pinch pleather. Christmas trees that do not need lights, reducing the danger from electrical fires. A gift for predation, glow worms in cup holders. Agricultural crops and domestic plants that luminesce when they need watering. Plastic bottles caved under bucket seats. New methods for detecting bacterial contamination of meats and other foods. Headlights blank deer which flanked eye empty. Detecting bacterial species and suspicious corpses. No, honey, see, no, I mean it, no. Sincere, good hearted injunction. Bioidentification for escaped convicts and mental patients. Squished penchant legs akimbo, plural, effusions. Novelty pets that bioluminescence, uh, rabbits, mice, fish, etc. Rose etymologies, backseat, bunny, feather of lead, bright smoke. Um, okay, this is the last one I read it, and uh, I'm sorry to people who were at the house band reading because I'm reading a lot of the same things, but. Uh, The problem of orchids. One. <laughs> the orchid has large, waxy white, star like flowers with a pronounced lip and a foot long spur that projects from the back of the flower. Since this white flower has a strong, spicy fra fragrance at night, Darwin hypothesized that it must be pollinated by a nocturnal hawk moth with a proboscis, a tongue that extended to 12 inches. <laughs> Two. <clears throat> 
Deviant stroke work, nipple heavy, gagged, thresh work, needle stuck, hand punched, fret work, distressed countenance, skull work, affect, all sense of proportion. I can't say it, so I'll say it slant. Three. Muscles of the human body, neck, platysma, draws the corners of the mouth inferiorly and widens it as in expressions of sadness and fright. Also draws the skin of the neck superiorly when teeth are clenched. Four. In the orchid, the pollinia attached itself by a stalk or extension that is hygroscopic, meaning it bends when moisture levels or the levels of humidity change. Once dry, the pollinia is in the perfect position to attach to the stigma. Five. In a room, in a house, in a basement, something borrowed, something blue, see plus cans, blossom, a copse of flowers, cross-referenced pepper skin, veil invested blue buds, seed pearl sticky. Here's at it then. Fingers tighten in lulls, ears say mine, mine, minion, miniature, minaret, tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Six. Six. How many of these questions do you answer yes? Are you afraid of your orchid? Do you sometimes feel like you have to walk on pins and needles to keep your orchid from getting angry? Has your orchid ever hit, slapped, choked, or pushed you? Has your orchid ever pushed your, pulled your hair? Do you feel like you deserve to be punished? Does your orchid drive you crazy or make you feel like you're going crazy? Have you believed that your orchid would kill you? Have you been told by your orchid that he or she would kill you? Has your orchid threatened or attempted to commit suicide? Have you been forced by your orchid to do something you didn't want to do? Do you feel emotionally numb? Have you left your orchid because of how you were treated, but later returned or allowed your orchid to return after promises it would all be different? <laughs> Seven. Impetuous temptation and motel, motel six stopovers are products of conception defy gravity. Mouth breeds insolent print, splendor of letters, embrace of doves, bent counterclockwise, slept, fluorescent with the patron saint of lost causes, divinity lessons. See bite work, craft work, cruel work, piece work, bit work, clock work, brush work, body work, cabinet work, fire work, frame work, mesh work, iron work, leg work, stone work. Eight. Lethality Guide. Frequent, increase, severe, escalate, threat, escalate, frequent, intoxicate, increase, force, threat, impair, weapon, stress, violence, a new relationship for either. Nine. As far as orchids are concerned, we have known for a long time that they are notoriously promiscuous. Ten. Still, I am not your dove for safekeeping. <laughs>